Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major veins that drain the tissues and organs of the abdomen and pelvis and the direction of blood flow through them. The right and left external iliac veins are deep veins that begin as continuations of the femoral veins of the thigh and join with the internal iliac veins to form the common iliac veins. They drain the anterior portion of the lower abdominal wall, external genitals, and the lower limbs. The right and left internal iliac veins begin near the superior portion of the greater sciatic notch of the pelvic bone and run medially to empty into the common iliac veins. They drain the muscles of the pelvic wall and gluteal region, pelvic viscera, and the external genitals. The right and left common iliac veins are deep veins formed by the union of the internal and external iliac veins near the sacroiliac joints to form the inferior vena cava, beginning near the fifth lumbar vertebra. The common iliacs drain the pelvis, external genitals, and lower limbs. The gonadal veins are the veins that drain the gonads, or reproductive organs. In males, the gonadal veins are called testicular veins, and in females, they're called ovarian veins. The right gonadal vein ascends along the posterior abdominal wall and drains the testes, epididymis, ductus deferens, ovaries, and ureters directly into the inferior vena cava. The left gonadal vein also ascends along the posterior abdominal wall, but drains into the left renal vein. The right and left renal veins are large diameter veins that serve as good landmarks to help you identify the other veins of the abdomen. The right renal vein drains the right kidney and empties into the inferior vena cava. The left renal vein drains the left kidney and receives blood from the left gonadal vein, left inferior phrenic vein, and usually the left suprarenal or adrenal vein. The right adrenal or suprarenal vein drains blood from the right adrenal gland directly into the inferior vena cava. The adrenal glands are located superior to the kidney which is what the name suprarenal refers to. The left adrenal, or suprarenal vein, drains blood from the left adrenal gland into the left renal vein. The right inferior phrenic vein originates on the lower surface of the diaphragm and empties directly into the inferior vena cava. It drains the lower surface of the diaphragm and adjoining peritoneal tissues. The left inferior phrenic vein also begins on the lower surface of the diaphragm and, like the other veins of the left abdominal region, empties into the left renal vein. It drains the same regions as the right inferior phrenic vein, the lower surface of the diaphragm and adjoining peritoneal tissues. The hepatic veins are usually three veins that drain the sinusoidal capillaries of the liver directly into the inferior vena cava. They are the first vessels that drain into the inferior vena cava below the diaphragm. The inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the body, and it drains its large volume of blood into the right atrium of the heart.